Okay. Bank look at cash flow to also determine whether to make your money, whether to make you a loan or not. Okay. Cash is the bloodline of a business. Just like you have blood flowing through your vein, once the blood stops flowing, you die, right? When cash stops flowing in the business, the business will die. Why is that? That's literally. If you have no cash coming in or no cash in the business, you can't pay your rent. If you're behind in your rent for too long, you're gonna get a notice, they're gonna shut you down. If you have no cash, you're gonna slow down and stop paying the loan and then the bank's gonna be hounding you and you're gonna be out of business in a hurry. If you have no cash, you can't pay employees, then they're gonna quit, <laughs> right? And then you have nobody to help service the customers. That's why, that's why cash is king. Now, what banks look at to make sure you have the cash to pay your bills is first. There's something that is called, you don't see this anywhere in your financial statement. but I'm gonna show you because I love you. It's called cash flow factor, okay? Banks look at this to determine whether you're liquid in your business, okay? For your operation. So you remember how we came up with net income? Okay, they adjust it for uh, non-cash. So depreciation get thrown away, right? So let's say your net income is $1,000, right? And you have depreciation of $500 net cash income, okay, is $1,500. So they add that depreciation back in to get what's the really cash you made. Because that depreciation was the equipment you bought five years ago that is still depreciating. You follow me? So it's, your cash didn't change hands. But it reduces your income. So for that reason, we gotta add it back in. You heard our CPA over here talk about a term called EBITDA. So I'm gonna write it down so if you see it, you're not gonna gloss it. I never heard anything like that before, okay? So this net cash income is equivalent to what is called, okay? Now, for most small business, the only thing you really adjust is depreciation, but I'm gonna spell this out. E stands for earnings. Earnings is another term for net income. Are we together? So net income, before, B is before, interest, depreciation, taxes, and amortization. Let me repeat that again. Earnings, which is the net income, is another term for net income. B is before, so your income is start adjusting for interest, depreciation, taxes. Most of you don't pay fed corporate tax. You're not a corporation, right? So there's no tax to adjust. The only tax you pay is on your personal side. Because whatever money you make in your business, when you are accountant file your taxes, they put all your income in the business into your 1040, right? So that's why there's nothing to adjust here. But see this depreciation and interest. If you have any loan, we add that back in, the interest you pay. Okay, the reason for that is the bank wants to know what is the cash you generated from operation because interest is not operating, right? So they come up with the cash you generated. Then what they do next is to say, okay, you are applying for a loan and the monthly payment, so you take that divide by monthly payment principal and interest, okay? So let's assume your interest payment for the whole year is gonna be $1,000. Somebody pull up your calculator and take 1,500 divided by $1,000. What is that? 1,500 divided by 1,000. Quick, business people. 
business people, pull out your calculator, 1,000 divided by 1,000. What is that? 1.5. Okay. And I'm serious. You know, there are a lot of business people that don't know how to calculate ratios and percentages. So you need to confront that demon. <laughs> you got to confront it. How can you run a business if you don't know how to punch numbers and get percentage and know what it means? And that is a serious issue we got to help you with, right? Actually, I do know some adults that even have graduate school degree, but somehow percentages confuses them. So if that's you, don't hide and walk around thinking everything is all right. Let's fix it. Let's help you with that phobia. <laughs> the lot of that freaks out, they panic about percentages. So if that's you, see Ramon <laughs> after class, and Ramon will help you solve that problem because you gotta know. So now, what banks look at is 1.5. What does that mean? I got cash of 1,500. I'm gonna pay my loan at principal and interest for 1,000. What the, is that good or bad? That's good because you can handle that loan. I have five hundred dollars left over. You could pay the one thousand and have five hundred left over. They love that. So most banks have a minimum to say if your cash flow factor is less than one point two five, we're not going to make you that loan. Oh, you barely make it. You barely making it. And there are some people that apply for loan and they are one point zero. What does one point zero mean? Even. Even. That means you're only going to make money to pay loan. You have nothing left over. You're cutting too close. So you're not going to get that loan. So you always want to know what is your cash flow factor before you go and fill out that loan application. If it's 1.5, you're good. If it's 2, that's good. They will make you that loan in a hurry if everything is lined up. Okay? All right. Thank you very much.